everyone full reading of global parameters can anyone please confirm are able to hear my voice are able to see my screen yes sir. Yes. 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 yes yes so in the last class uh, we successfully completed and uh, enterprise structure okay so how in ent enterprise structures will con uh, things and all in the last class up to last class we successfully completed just enterprise structure what is meant by company company code and all okay even i shared practice material in the whatsapp group who are not received just check with the lakshmi ma'am okay and she will help you and uh, one more thing is called put the heading of global parameters and note it down one by one please note it down one by one everyone heading is global parameters note it down one by one first one is called global parameters first one is called chart of accounts first one is called chart of accounts note it down one by one everyone second one is called physical year physical year in the bracket financial year next one posting period next one posting period next one field status variant field status variant next one tolerance 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 next one exchange rate exchange rate currency settings currency setting company code global parameters meters company code global parameters next one document type next one document type next one number ranges next one number ranges this is we are called as a global parameters anyone read one by one who can read yes, sir can i read ah, please go ahead madam yes sir uh, 
global parameters number 1 chart of accounts number 2 fiscal year in bracket financial year number 3 posting period number 4 field status variant number 5 tolerance number 6 exchange rate 7 currency settings 8 company code global parameters 9 document type 10 number ranges number ranges everyone so this is called global parameters let's discuss one by one everyone let's discuss one by one okay so my dear students concentrate everyone concentrate first one what is called first one first one is called chart of accounts my dear students please join on time tomorrow onwards okay please everyone listen listen careful listen first listen okay whenever i give the time that time you can unmute and ask the question meanwhile if you have any questions please note it down aside just listen every so my target is what is meant by chart of accounts chart of accounts chart of accounts means guys listen listen carefully chart of accounts means list of gl accounts what is meant by chart of accounts chart of accounts means list of gl accounts so what is the gl accounts what is meant by gl accounts gl accounts means example example like our everyone rent account rent account cash account and uh, commission paid account and land account and buildings account blah 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 etc so it is so this is called gls this is called gls okay this is we are called as a gls try to understand everyone i am repeating once again my dear students listen careful listen careful what is meant by chart of accounts chart of accounts means list of gl accounts list of gl accounts so what is meant by gl accounts gl accounts means rent account cash account commission paid account commission received accounts miscellaneous expenses accounts other incomes and uh, buildings land uh, capital blah 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 etc etc so this is called gl accounts chart of accounts means what list of gl accounts so if you want to create this gls if you want to create this gl you want to make some configuration you want to make certain configuration first we will do some configuration based on that configuration we will we will going to create the gl accounts based on the gl accounts we will post accounting entries based on the accounting entries we will generate the reports so if you want to create the gl account what is the gl account rent account cash account commission paid account land account buildings account commission received accounts rent received account rent paid account blah 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 etc so what configuration you have to do if you want to create the gls after creating the gls how to post the accounting entries after posting accounting entries how to generate the reports this is the target this is the target chart of accounts means list of gl accounts my dear students note it down one put the heading of chart of accounts configuration steps put the heading of chart of accounts configuration steps note it down these steps everyone just write heading and t code don't write path okay first step edit chart of account list note it down put the heading of chart of accounts configuration steps just write this heading first step edit chart of account list on the diary next one assign company code to chart of accounts assign company code to chart of accounts 
Uh, Sridhar, do you have any doubts, any questions? What happened, my dear Sridhar? Next one. Define accounts group. Define accounts group. Next one, define retained earning account. Define retained earning account. Define retained earning account. Define retained earning account. So this is the configuration steps. Done? Noted everyone? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. So my dear students, try to understand. I will tell you one thing, everyone. Try to understand. I will tell you one more story. I will tell you one more story, everyone. The story is called Lizan. Lizan careful. Lizan. So what is meant by chart of accounts? What is meant by chart of accounts? Chart of accounts means list of GL accounts. What is meant by GL accounts? Rent account, cash account, commission, paid account, land account, blah, 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 etc. Like so. Basically, everyone, chart of accounts means list of GL accounts. GL accounts means this is the one. Basically, how many types of chart of accounts? So how many types of these GLs blog X, Y, Z pronunciation, okay? For example, how many types of chart of accounts? Chart of accounts. My dear students, basically we have three types of chart of accounts, everyone. How many types? Basically we have three types of chart of accounts. Three types of chart of accounts. What is that? Number one, everyone, concentrate here, my dear students. Number one, number one is operational chart of accounts. Operational chart of accounts. Operational chart of accounts. Number two, listen carefully, everyone. Number two, Country specific chart of accounts. What is this? Country specific chart of accounts. And number three, group chart of accounts. What is meant by number three? Number three is the group chart of accounts. Group chart of accounts. Everyone, listen careful. Listen careful. What is meant by chart of accounts? Chart of accounts means list of GL accounts. What is meant by GL account? GL accounts means rent account, cash account, commission, paid account, blah, 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 switch it. So, chart of accounts means GL accounts. Please, please keep it on your mind. In this chart of accounts, basically we have three types of chart of accounts. One is operational chart of accounts, country specific chart of accounts, group chart of accounts. Operational chart of accounts, country specific chart of accounts, and group chart of accounts. So, my dear students, now you people want to understand one thing. What is meant by operational chart of accounts? What is meant by operational chart of accounts? Operational chart of accounts means, guys, concentrate here. Whatever GLs, whatever GLs, you can use day-to-day -day business transactions. To Everyone, I'm repeating once again. Concentrate here. Listen, listen careful. Operational chart of accounts means whatever GLs you can use post 
डे टू डे बिजनेस अकाउंटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन दट जी एल्स इज कॉल्ड ऑपरेशनल चार्ट ऑफ अकाउंट एग्जाम्पल रेंट अकाउंट कैश अकाउंट कमीशन पेड अकाउंट ब्ला 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 एक्सपेक्टेड then what is meant by country specific chart of accounts whatever gls you can use specific country whatever gls you can use specific country that gls we are called as a country specific chart of accounts example tax related gls tax related gls we can use only specific country example igst cgst sgst i can use only in india if i want to post american taxation i want to create different gls for their taxation if i want to post europe taxation i want to create different gls for their taxation legal expenses legal expenses any adjustment accounting entry related gls so this type of G whatever gls you can use for only specific country that gls we are called as a country specific chart of accounts example tax related gls and uh, legal expenses gls and any other adjustment related gls gls chart of accounts means gls they have different different type of chart of gls operational chart of accounts means whatever gls you can use to post the accounting entry day to day business transaction accounting entry means document entry posting country specific chart of accounts means whatever gls you can use for specific country that gl is called we are called as a country specific chart of accounts the next one global chart of i mean group chart of accounts what is mean by this group chart of accounts group chart of accounts means group chart of accounts means see this is the gl we can use for high level reporting purpose corporate reports like that high level reporting purpose okay so this i mean we can merge one or two gls with help of group chart of accounts so group chart of accounts we can use for the high level reporting purpose so in the coming classes some more discussion is required what is mean by group chart of accounts that time i will explain so how we can going to reporting that how we can configure that how we can specify that it will come some more transaction it will come just now you can keep it on your mind what is mean by group chart of accounts group chart of accounts means we can use for the high level reporting purpose we can group some gls actually okay so how you can group it then we will discuss now guys uh, can you please note it down this can you please note it down this Ah, uh, Gangadhar, are you following, my dear student? Yes, no. Yes, sir. I'm following. Ah, uh, Vikram, are you? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Can you please introduce yours, Gangadhar? Guys. Uh, hi. Hi, all. Ah, uh, my name is Gangadhar Aunnori. Ah, uh, I'm joining uh, today. Where you are working? How much experience you have? Where are you from? What you studied? Okay. Uh, actually, my highest qualification is MBA Finance. I have overall uh, ten years of experience into finance and accounts as an end user, and currently I'm working in a Yugo company as uh, as an end user in Mumbai location. So mm -hmm. I wanted to become a SAP consultant. So that's why I joined. For that, which company you work? Uh, prior. To that, uh, Marsh and McLennan Company and Genpact India Private Limited, Hyderabad. 
Oh, you are so from Jankai. Okay. Yes. Anyone from Mumbai? Anyone? In, in this batch, anyone from Mumbai, Pune? No one? Yes, sir. I am from Pune. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I am also from Pune. So, Pradeep, Pune. One more? Who, who is he? Vikas. 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 Mumbai, Pune. 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 Both are Pune. Na? Okay. Yeah. Whenever you time, just meet Gangadhar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yeah okay gangadhar thank you thanks for joining gangadhar okay yeah 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 thank you yeah. anyone from chennai chennai everyone chennai chennai no one chennai okay basically every batch we have uh, Minimum six to seven members from Chennai. I don't know this batch. No one is there. Uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, actually. A lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone from uh, Bangalore? Bangalore? I'm from Bangalore. Sir. Bangalore, Ashok, Bangalore. Dina, you I... also Bangalore? Yeah, I'm working in Bangalore. Uh, you, Anita, ma'am? Yes, sir. I'm from Bangalore only. Okay. Any others from Bangalore? Okay. Yeah. Hi, sir. I'm also working in Bangalore. Okay. You are from Bangalore, Amma? Yes, yeah. Peter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Noted, everyone. Noted this. Chart of accounts means list of GL accounts. And chart of accounts, types of chart of accounts, operational chart of accounts, country specific chart of accounts, and group chart of accounts. Noted? Yes, sir. Please. Uh, note yes, it down. Sir. Put the heading of operational chart of accounts. Put the heading of operational chart of accounts. Put the heading of operational chart of accounts. Just for your understanding purpose, just write one uh, line of note. Okay. Later we will discuss. Uh, uh, on the interview question and answers, I will give you separately. Okay. Note it down. Operational chart of accounts means. Operational chart of accounts means. Whatever GLs, whatever GLs whatever GLs we can use. One second, everyone. Yeah. So whatever GLs we can use to post to post day-to-day -day business transactions, day-to-day -day business transactions day-to-day -day business transactions That GL we are called as a that GL we are called that GLs we are called as a operational chart of accounts.
Next one. Example, 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 cash account, rent account, dot, dot, etc. Next one, next one. Country specific chart of accounts. Next one, country specific chart of accounts. Whatever GLs, whatever GLs, we can use. Please note it down clearly, everyone. We can use. to post to post specific country specific country business transactions That GLs, we are called as a country specific chart of accounts. Example, tax, tax related GLs, legal expenses related GLs. Dot, dot, etc. Dot, dot, etc. Next one, group chart of accounts. Group chart of accounts we can use for high level reporting purpose. High level reporting purpose. This for we will discuss later. Clear, everyone. Noted. Questions, questions, please. Before going to start the configuration, any questions? Any questions, please? No, sir. No questions. Yeah. So let's see. Our target is we need to create the GLs. If you want to create the GLs, like uh, what configuration steps is required? We have almost three to four configuration steps is mandatory for the chart of accounts. What is that? One is chart of accounts. One is assign company code to chart of accounts. One is define accounts group. One more is retained earning account. This is the mandatory every month. <clears throat> Note it down every month. Uh, listen careful, listen careful. First one, chart of account list. Listen careful. Let's open SAP.
everyone listen listen carefully so uh, i want to create what is the configuration go to spro enter sap reference img select here financial accounting and uh, general ledger accounting master records gl accounts preparation this one edit chart of account list this one everyone edit chart of account list assign company code to chart of accounts define accounts group edit i mean define retained earning account so this is the configuration steps and uh, so how how i can see the t code this is the path everyone this is the path financial accounting general ledger accounting master record gl accounts then preparation and edit chart of account list not required to write the path i will share you practice material now. there you can find it. and how i can see the t code go to additional information additional information display keys img activities the last four digit is the t code everyone last four digit is the t code ob13 ob62 obd4 ob53 like that blah 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 etc so the last four digit is the t code and this is the path and for example sir okay sir you said uh, what is meant by chart of accounts you said some some note you can give in of course interview question and answers we can give you later the thing is the thing is everyone the thing is everyone in case if you want to understand more information what is meant by chart of accounts just to go through this document everyone this document can give you more information about chart of accounts more information about the chart of accounts okay you just go through this whenever you have time just to read this go through this blah 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 etc okay and uh, one step back one step back everyone now okay sir i understood what is meant by chart of accounts now i want to create chart of accounts so how we can create very simple everyone double click on edit chart of accounts edit chart of accounts click on your new entry click on your new entry here to set up i'm repeating once again i'm repeating once again i'm repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again everyone come to this path double click on this execute button click on your new entry click on your new entry and set up here up to four digit and write the description so sir why i want to set up up to four digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets alpha numerical whatever you want why because this is identification of your chart of accounts so i am set up here rm oc so what is that rm operational chart of accounts rm operational chart of accounts and uh, this chart of accounts which language you want which language we want english english then uh, length of gl accounts length of gl accounts this is the interview question actually length of gl account this is the interview question so everyone for example listen careful listen careful here if i set up two what happened if i set up two what happened my dear students if i set up two means under this chart of accounts we can able to create 99 gls two means 99 gls two means one to 99 gls rent account cash account commission paid account uh, miscellaneous expenses building land blah 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 etc how many gls is possible to create under that chart of accounts 99 if you maintain two if you maintain two you can possible 99 for example if i maintain here three what happened if you maintain three means 
under these startup accounts, you are able to create how many GLs? One, two, three, three GLs. 999 GLs. Under that chart of accounts, you are possible to create 999 GLs. For example, if I maintain, uh, if I maintain eight, what happened? So eight means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this many GLs is possible to create under that chart of accounts. Under that chart of accounts. So here, everyone here maximum you can maintain 10 everyone maximum you can maintain 10 minimum you can maintain one one means nine gls is possible to create 10 means maximum nine 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 like that that many gls is possible to create so but what is the suggestible what is the suggestible six or eight six or eight is the suggestible so in the practicing purpose let's take six so if you take six, what happened? If you take six, what happened? Means under this chart of accounts, under this chart of accounts, we are going to create how many GLs? One, two, three, four, five, six. This many GLs. Here uh, we are called as a Vokatl Padlu Vandal Vail Padil Laksha. Here 9,99,999 9, GLs is possible to create under this chart of accounts. Okay, like that. So, for example, you don't want to take your own decisions. Six, seven, eight, no, don't want to take more your own decisions. Example, for example, you are the Deloitte employee as a consultant. You are implementing RM group of company. RM group of company. So this RM group of company is your client, everyone. RM group of companies, your client. So you want to explain your client. You can ask your client. So this is the process. This is the use of chart of accounts. This is the use of these fields. Then your client will be going to suggest based on their business. For their business, maximum how many GLs they required. They will suggest you, okay, my company required this many GLs. So you can set up this number. Your client will be going to confirm. But sometime they will going to ask, so what is your suggestion? Your suggestion means as per the SAP uh, suggestion, six or eight is the suggestible. So my dear students, set up here any four digit and write the description, operational chart of accounts and language English, number six, and uh, group chart of accounts and status will come later, not required now. Press enter, then click on your save, save, and okay. Click on your save and okay. Save. The next one. Next step is, next step is assign chart of accounts to company code. So what is meant by chart of, what is your chart of accounts? My chart of accounts is RMOC, just now I created. So what is your company code? What is your company code? RM11, RM12, this is my company code. So now I want to assign this chart of accounts is belongs to which company codes? This and this, this and this, you have to assign like this. Next step is I want to assign chart of accounts to company code. Let assign that. Let's assign that one step back, one step back, again one step back. Here, here, assign company code to chart of accounts. Assign company code to chart of accounts. You just double click on this. Assign company code to chart of accounts. Click on here. Somebody log. Guys, please close the system. Don't open uh, SAP everyone while explaining the class. Don't open SAP. Just listen the class. Listen, listen, listen. That's it. I'm repeating once again, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Double click on this. Assign uh, company code to chart of accounts. 
and click on your position and uh, enter here your company code. What is your company code, everyone? RM11. So this is my company code. And here you want to assign your chart of accounts. What is your chart of accounts? RM OC. Here also RM OC. This is my chart of accounts. This chart of accounts is belongs to this company codes. Press enter and save. Then one more, one more everyone, one more. The very, 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 very important. Very, 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 very important. If you understood this define accounts group now, if you understood this step, then entire chart of accounts you understood. In case if you miss this step now, then you uh, something is you missing. Very, very important, everyone. Everyone, listen, listen careful, concentrate here. My dear students, concentrate here. Define accounts group. Anyone working in tally? Anyone working in tally, everyone? Tally, tally software, anyone working? Wings, focus, any other tool working? No, no one? No one tally? Accountant? Are able to hear my voice? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. No. So, my dear students, what is meant by accounts group? I will tell you what is meant by accounts group. Accounts group means concentrated, everyone. Concentrated. Listen careful. Listen careful. Accounts group means here, here, everyone, concentrate here. Example, here we can create, here we will create, um, here we will create accounts group means, for example, in tally software, we are called as a under groups. In the SAP software, we can, we are called as a accounts group. In the tally software, all are predefined. If I'm not wrong, there is a 24 predefined under groups is there. And here we want to create our own under groups. Here we want to create our own under groups. Example, example, everyone. I can create example expenses. Here I'm giving 100 to 200. Example, example. This is the number range. This is the number range and this is the number. And here I'm giving example income. 201 to 300. I'm giving one number range also. And here uh, assets 300, 300, 301 to 400. Some liability 400 to 401. For example, liability. Ability 401 to 500. Everyone. So this is called accounts group. Example, example. So what is this? This is called accounts group. Now you want to create the GL, right? Example, example, I'm telling. So now I want to create rent account. Comes under? Expenses. Rent expenses. account comes under expenses. Rent account comes under expenses. Under the expenses, I want to create rent account. Rent account. Example here, I will give the number 100. 100 number will come. So here, here we will maintain one number range. Example I'm taking. Here we will maintain number range. That number range will reflect it when you create the GL. So now I'm creating commission paid. Comes under? Anyone yes. please respond? Expenses. Expenses. Here we are create as a commission paid account. Here number will come 101. Here 100 means rent account. 101 means commission paid. So here we will set up one number range. That number range will reflect it on this, this one. Now I want to create buildings, building account, office building comes under? Yes, it. Yes, it. Oh, office building comes under set here. Example, office building. 
So what is the number will come here? What is the number? this is called accounts group this is we are called as a accounts group accounts group note it on one note everyone note it on one note note it on one note everyone accounts group is the Ah, let it be noted down. GL accounts group is the sorry everyone. Note it down clearly. GL accounts group is the Madhavi ma'am joined up. Madhavi ma'am. Madhavi, are you there? Maybe your check your mic, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what about uh, some other students? Prabhu joined up. Prabhu. Prabhu there? Prabhu, are you there? Yes, yes, sir. Are you following Prabhu? Yes, yes. Okay, okay please. Note it down. GL accounts group is Classify the GLs. Classify the GLs. Classify the GLs. Next line, next line, note it down. During the GL accounts group creation, during the GL accounts group creation, We will set up one number range. We will set up for number range. That number range will reflect it. That number range will reflect it. When you create the GLs. When you create the GL,
it means it means it means every gl have one individual number every gl have one individual number everyone i can give one best example everyone for example uh, in india in india every person have one aadhar number individual aadhar number agree or not yes or no yes sir yes sir yes. same way in sap every gl we have one number that we have one number this number reflected from where in the accounts group we will set up one number range from that number range one number will go to generated here that is the number is unique unique number for specific for example in the rent means 100 that's it it's fixed like that okay yeah example i'm telling do you want write this do you want write yes no do you want write is this one example not required Not required. Okay. Can anyone please uh, read the note, everyone? Remaining people check it out. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Please. Yes, sir. Note. Uh, GL accounts group is to classify the GLs. During the GL accounts group creation, we will set up one number range that number range will be reflected when we create the GLs. It means every GL has one individual number. Every GL have one individual. Um, some more additional noted on map, some more clarification. GL accounts group create T code OBD4. Some more clarification. To create GL accounts group, T code OBD4. To create the GLs, P code FS00. P code FS00. Noted, ma'am. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Guys, I will tell you one important flow, everyone. I will tell you an important flow. In case um, anybody asks about your chart of accounts, you can tell this flow, everyone. So, first, what we will do, everyone? First, what we will do? We do, we created chart of chart of accounts. We created chart of accounts. What is that example? We created RMOC. We created chart of accounts. T code, I mean, something we created RMOC. And uh, this RMOC, we are going to assign our company codes. We are going to assign our company codes. Company codes. What is our company codes? Example, RM11 and RM. One, two. This is my company codes. Under this chart of accounts, under this chart of accounts, we created, under this chart of accounts, we are going to create accounts group. Accounts group. Whatever, whatever accounts group you have now, that accounts group we are going to create. Based on under this accounts group, under this accounts group, 
we are going to create GL accounts. We are going to create GL accounts. GL accounts. Whatever rent account, cash account, commission paid account, blah, 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 blah. So how this will create GL accounts? These GL accounts we can create under the accounts group. This accounts group under the chart of accounts. This chart of accounts we are going to assign company codes. Everyone, concentrate here, concentrate here. Based on these GL accounts, we will post accounting entries. Based on these GL accounts, we will post accounting entries. We are in the SAP terminology, we are called as a document entries. Document entries. Document entries. Document entries means accounting entries. So during the document entry posting, during the document entry posting, we are going to specify the company code. For example, rent account data to cash. This is belongs to which company code? Commission paid account data to cash. If you post any accounting entry, if you post any document entry, we will specify the company code. All accounting entries we will post under company code here. During the accounting entry posting, we will specify the company codes. We will specify the company code. Based on the accounting entry posting, we will generate the reports. We will generate the reports. Guys, following? Yes, no? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Can I repeat or not required? Sir, repeat. Okay. Listen, listen careful, okay? Listen careful. Don't think here and there. Listen, focus my class, okay? For example, if you go Mahesh Bob movie, we are always focused on Mahesh Bob, right? So, of course, I am not a Mahesh Bob, but listen, listen careful, listen. First, uh, put the heading of, everyone, put the heading of chart of accounts flow. Chart of accounts flow, note it down. Chart of accounts flow, I will repeat once again for uh, students is asking. I will repeat everyone. Put the heading of chart of accounts flow. F noted? Yes, no? First, put the heading, heading noted down. Listen, listen careful. Don't write, listen. First, what we will do? First, we can create chart of accounts. First, we can create chart of accounts. This chart of accounts, we are going to assign company codes. Assignment means mapping. Assignment means mapping. Under this chart of accounts, we are creating accounts group. So what is accounts group? Here, this is the accounts group. Where is that? Uh, example, this is the accounts group. So this accounts group, we are going to create under chart of accounts. Here, under this is the one. And this accounts group, we are creating under chart of accounts. Chart of accounts. This chart of accounts, we are going to assign company codes. Assign company codes like this. So chart of accounts is a middleware under accounts group and company code. This is the accounts group under chart of accounts. Chart of accounts is assigned to company code. Under the accounts group, we will create the GL. Based on the GLs, we are going to post accounting entries. Based on the accounting entries, we will generate the reports. That is the structure. Here, here. Under this accounts group, based on the accounts group, we will create the GLs. Rent account, cash account, like that. Based on the GLs, we will post document entries. Document entry means accounting entries. During the document entry posting, we will specify the company code. Based on this, we will generate the reports. Now, did you got now? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Note it down, note it down.
Done? Done, everyone? Perfect. Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so what is the some more examples of accounts group, everyone? So, example uh, here, everyone, I can set up this accounts group. Example, uh, share capital. Share capital is one accounts group. Accounts group, share capital, what is the number? I given this number 1000 to 10999. Like. Example, this is the share capital. This is one accounts group, everyone. Example, example, this is one accounts group. This is one accounts group. Share capital is one accounts group. Example, everyone. Share capital is one accounts group. And 1000 to 10999. Under this accounts group, we will create the GLs. We will create the GLs. Ramesh capital account. What is the number range will come? 100000. And Suresh capital account. Suresh capital account. What is the number will come? 100001. Like that. Whatever number will come. So, so one more, some other person capital. Blah, 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 blah. It's mentioned. So this is the accounts group everyone suggested. I mean, this is a standard or not standard. Even you can contact uh, your client. Your client will be tell you how many types of GLC is there. Based on that type, we can create example, share capital, reserves and surplus, secure loan, uh, unsecured loan, sundry creditor, tax payable, current liability, fixed asset, inventory, cash and bank, sundry debitor, reserves, I mean tax receivable, current asset, miscellaneous expenses, write-off. These all are accounts group. Sales revenue, sales, incomes, then increasing and decreasing the stock, raw material consumption, personal expenses, sales and distribution expenses, then expenses, and blah, 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 like this, okay? We have uh, different, this is the accounts group. Under this accounts group, we are going to create the accounts. Everyone, you have to practice manually, right? Every accounts group manually practice, okay? So let's create, how to create accounts group, everyone. Listen careful. How to create accounts group? Yeah. How to create accounts group? In case if you have more information, sir, I want more information, sir. I am very sincere student. What can I do? Just go, just go through this uh, document, everyone. This document give us some more information. Why? What? When? Blah 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 blah. Like we said, yeah, we have some links also. It can. Okay. Then whenever you have time, just go through that. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so let's create accounts group, everyone. For example, let me what is your chart of accounts, guys? RM OC, right? Example RM. Everyone, concentrate everyone. Listen careful. I want to create accounts group. Listen. Listen everyone. Listen. Listen. Double click on define accounts group. Click on your new entry. Now you can tell me what is your chart of accounts? RMOC. Under the chart of accounts, we are going to create the accounts group. So accounts group, set up here any name. Set up here any name. Example, SHCA, share capital. And description, what is the description? Description is share capital. Description is share capital. Number range from this number to this number. This number to this number. This is the numbers. This is the numbers. This number to this number. This is the one accounts group. Under this accounts group, we are going to create the accounts. 
Ramesh Capital, Suresh Capital, blah, 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 blah. So press enter and save. So this is the accounts group, everyone. Same way, you, I'm going to copy paste, but you can create. Uh, example, uh, share reserves and surplus, secured loan, unsecured loan, sundry creditor, tax payable, current liability, blah, 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 XYZ. And I'm copying this and pasting this, but you can create manually. Press enter. So this is chart of accounts, accounts group, law and number range. And better asset related things. This is the asset related things. Fixed asset, inventory, cash and bank. Uh, cash and bank, sundry debitor, tax receivable, current asset, miscellaneous expenses, write off. Enter. Save. The next one and uh, incomes sales revenue is an income here sales sales direction it's a sales and other incomes increasing decreasing stock also income Are you following? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we made every expenses. Raw material consumption, personal expenses, and direct expenses, sales and distribution, and expenses, blah, blah, blah. In case if you want more accounts group, you can create. If you want more accounts group, you can create. In case if you requested uh, different, different accounts group, uh, like that you can create. For example, uh, let me take uh, director expenses, one accounts group. Employee director accounts group, sorry, director's expenses, one accounts group. Employee expenses, one accounts group. In case under the director expenses, you can create director related expenses GLs. Employees expenses under, you can create employee related expenses GLs. Based on that, you can post the accounting entries. Based on that, you will create them. You will post accounting entries and you will generate the reports. Questions, questions, please. Questions. Questions, please. Hi, sir. Uh, madam. I have one question. Mm -hmm. uh, why we give the four digit uh, like company code, etc. you are creating, right? Why we give That's... only four digit? Can we get the SAP predefined? SAP predefined. SAP suggested we want to set up up to four digit for the identification. Okay. For the identification for that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, one more question, sir. Mm -hmm. You created number range, right? Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it will pick uh, randomly or we give the length of the account number right in the chart of accounts? Length of uh, account number. You have to give this number to this number like that. Oh, you, any okay. number you can okay. give, no problem. Okay. Uh, for, for, that, uh, for that one, it will take the number ranges, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, but generally, yeah. liabilities will have up to five series, right? You can explain that also. Expense if you want, you can. In if you a... want, you can. But that is not a standard up to five, up to six. That is not a standard. I'm telling five series, not the digit. Not like that. Maybe in your company, five series. Different company, different series. Okay. Yes, it's correct. You can set up any. Huh? Somebody is correct like that. You can set up any number range. That is the target. 
some company maintain five series some company one series some company three three series but the target is here we are set up in any number range that number range will reflect it during the gl creation that is the target okay yeah next the thing is my dear students uh before going to please join the class be ready okay please uh, wait or join the class 5 minutes early and before joining the class check your internet some people disconnecting and connecting again connecting disconnecting again so you miss some points na so this is the class you want 1 lakh rupees salary per month you want 2 lakh rupees salary per month this is a class everyone this is not a playground okay so please uh, listen careful respect subject means saraswati mata respect the subject listen the careful uh, be punctual before 5 minutes be ready with that join immediately listen the class before 5 minutes be are uh, pratibha ma'am manisha some other uh, deva some other student joining late please join on time okay join on time listen the careful and uh, please everyone i am not point of anyone i am requesting okay you please everyone okay be punctual and uh, see the target is students want to wait the faculty faculty don't want to wait the student this is the phenomena are you agree or not yes or no yes sir yes Okay. Please, please join. You you want one lakh rupee salary per month? Then you want to follow my words. No, sir. I am very happy with twenty thousand rupees. Then as your wish. I don't want to tell anything. Okay. Please, everyone, and please write note. Please write note. And uh, coming classes, I will share interview question and answers also. Every day, every day, five interview question and answers. You have to read like that. I can give you one structure. Accordingly, you can follow. if you know the subject then only job will come if you don't know subject job never will come there is a job opportunity is there but the point is students does not have patience students does not have sufficient knowledge subject knowledge then how job will come okay so my dear students i am requesting everyone please join on time listen the class and wait for faculty okay and uh, yeah thank you everyone meet tomorrow bye bye thank you sir 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 thank you sir